You are watching Wanda Lucia. Lithuania, a land of timeless beauty and culture. Nestled in the heart of the Baltic region, this country beckons with its history, great landscapes, and warm-hearted people. Lithuania's history is a tapestry woven with resilience. Dating back to the 13th century, it emerged as a formidable medieval state under Grand Duke Mindaugas, who embraced Christianity in 1251. Over the centuries, Lithuania expanded its territory to become one of Europe's largest countries. The union with Poland in the 16th century, forming the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, brought a period of cultural flourishing and tolerance. However, the 18th century saw Lithuania's partition by neighbouring powers, leading to centuries of foreign rule. It wasn't until the aftermath of World War I that Lithuania regained independence in 1918, only to endure another dark period of Soviet and Nazi occupation. Finally, in 1991, Lithuania reclaimed its sovereignty and has since transformed into a thriving European nation, proud of its rich heritage and boundless potential. Lithuania's geography is a blend of diverse landscapes. Located in the Baltic region of Northern Europe, it boasts a picturesque coastline along the Baltic Sea to the west, with sandy beaches and seaside towns. Inland, the terrain is characterized by rolling hills, pristine forests and numerous lakes, earning it the moniker Land of a Thousand Lakes. Lithuania has its share of unusual laws. These laws are there to reflect Lithuania's commitment to safety and well-being in its society. Lithuania has regulations governing the display of decorative lights during the Christmas season, ensuring they don't distract drivers or disrupt neighbors. There's also a law requiring cyclists to use bike lanes whenever available, promoting safer and more organized cycling in urban areas. High heels on national TV. At one point, there was a law stating that women couldn't wear high heels while appearing on national television, likely a relic from more conservative times. Public displays of affection. Near monuments, kissing and hugging in close proximity to monuments and historical sites is discouraged, possibly to maintain respect for cultural heritage. Limit on baby names. Lithuania has regulations on baby names, and parents must choose names from an approved list of Lithuanian names, although this list has expanded in recent years. Mandatory bicycle bells. Bicycles are required by law to have functioning bells to warn pedestrians and other road users. Smoking on balconies. Some apartment buildings have rules against smoking on balconies due to concerns about secondhand smoke affecting neighbors. Limit on store opening hours. In some areas of Lithuania, there are regulations governing the hours during which stores can be open, with restrictions on Sunday trading. Requirement to smile. In the town of Druski Ninkai, there was reportedly a law that required public facing workers, like waitstaff, to smile while on duty to maintain a friendly atmosphere. Strict noise regulations. Lithuania has stringent noise regulations, even in residential areas, which can restrict activities like mowing the lawn or using power tools during certain hours. No hot soup at public events. There have been reports of a law that restricts the sale and consumption of hot soup at public events, possibly to prevent accidents or spills. Forbidden to keep pigeons in apartments. Some cities in Lithuania have laws against keeping pigeons in apartment buildings, likely due to concerns about noise and hygiene. Minimum alcohol prices. Lithuania has set minimum prices for alcoholic beverages to combat excessive drinking, which can make some types of alcohol more expensive than in neighboring countries. Bicycle lights during the day. Cyclists are required to have working lights on their bicycles, even during daylight hours, to enhance visibility and safety. Dancing on bar tables. In some bars and restaurants, dancing on tables might be prohibited to ensure customer safety and prevent damage to furniture. Required snow removal. Property owners are often responsible for clearing snow and ice from the sidewalks in front of their buildings during the winter, and there may be fines for non-compliance. Here are things you should avoid when you talk to a Lithuanian. Russia. Lithuania has a deep historical connection with Russia, having been part of both the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union. However, today, it stands as an independent and proud nation, a member of NATO and the European Union. It's essential to note that Lithuanians are sensitive about their past and any assumptions of being linked to Russia. Caution and respect should be exercised when discussing this topic to avoid unintentional offence or misconceptions. Lithuanian beer. 
In addition to refraining from jokes about Lithuanians and alcohol, one should also avoid belittling Lithuanian beer, a source of pride for its people. Many locals assert that Lithuanian beer rivals the quality of German brews, and such claims hold merit. Rather than poking fun, it's advisable to savour and appreciate Lithuanian beer when in their company. Sepelinai. Lithuanians take great pride in their traditional cuisine, with sepelinai being a beloved dish. While no one will take offence if sepelinai isn't your personal favourite, a compliment on this iconic dish can go a long way in winning trust when it comes to your taste in food. So, to maintain your reputation as a connoisseur, don't hesitate to give Lithuanian sepelinai a well-deserved compliment. In summary, Lithuania, nestled in the Baltic region of Europe, is a land of diverse landscapes, rich cultural heritage and a complex history. It has made significant strides in its economic development and political stability since regaining independence in 1991. 